Hi, and welcome to Thumbnail Hacks. I decided that we're going to be using multiple programs today for doing our thumbnail. First off, we're in Photo P. We need to get rid of this and change over to our border, which is camping, because we're camping. And we still have the white border in the way. We need to get rid of the live, too. And now we're all set with that. Now we're going to be going below the frame. So the frames here, we're going to be probably doing most of our work right here. I purchased a AI graphics. And this is the closest I could get to the items that is going are going to be in this um, program. I'm not totally confident that these are really true AI. Uh, some are AI, some are not. Or, or uh, is it really doing what it's supposed to be doing? Because I gave it pretty specific things. Uh, wide angle, coffee grinder. I don't see a coffee grinder in any of these. But anyways, this is the one I'm probably going to use. Or this one. Why don't we use this one? And... Let's go to saved images because I've saved them all. We're going to download this one. Now we are going to go to Photo P and lay that in there. Image, file, open in place. We need the downloaded file, which was should be right here which I'm not seeing. We're going to have to go back and download it again because it did not download to where I expected. None of these are showing up. Give that another try here. I literally purchased this like, I think today. All right, this, this is close. Let's go try this one more time here. We have multiple things that we can do. All right. Oh, so this is it. Okay. I forgot to save it. Okay, here we go. Save as JPEG. That doesn't give me much. Anyways. Now let's see if we can hunt down and find it. Let's try it one more time. Save as... Yeah, see, it's in magazines now. All right, so we'll go to reading magazines and grab it. File, open in place. Now we're going to hop around a bunch of documents, miscellaneous. This has nothing to do with reading. And then we're magazines. And it's this one. So that's our AI image. We'll get that in there. And I did have some ideas for what we could do for other stuff. See, these aren't even camp tools, but we can give them a little bit of a blur. Filter, lens, oh yeah, yeah. Apply filter, Gaussian blur, blur, Gaussian, and away it goes. Okay, so that looks not too bad. Now let's get human subjects like me. I think I'm in there for human subjects. Oh, okay, I forgot to close that. Nice of them to remind me. Come down. We got me camping. Yeah, camping backpack. How about that? We'll bring that all the way up. Or we can bring that down, whichever. Where'd I put that one? Uh,
All right, camp border, me under car. That isn't showing. Keep coming. Oh, come on. And backpack. All right. Oh, yeah. Let's just make these folders a little bit. There we go. Knew there was a way to get around this. How about right there? There we go. Now, let's go and file open the other images, which are in the video, which is the camp 5x5, even though it's 21 things. Go to graphics, and we'll go here. We'll just open them all. One, two, three, and that one. Well, which one do I like better? This one. I do this one. Okay, open. Let's see if we can get these to look halfway decent and add them in. Select, invert. Let me get out a big eraser. Because I haven't figured out how to just cut it all. Then we brush size. Brush. Here's our size. Bring it as large as possible. And erase everything but that. Now let's go in and, all right, select, inverse, and we see if we can get some of this deleted out. Oh, come on. All right, magic brush. Do some magic brushing. Well, it's being more difficult with me. Let's go with polygonal lasso select then. Come on, close off. All right, image, select, inverse selection. Oh, come on. There, I think I got it that time. Now, invert selection. It wasn't fully selecting inverse. Go back to our eraser tool. Get the, ooh. Undo that. Control Z. Obviously, it didn't select the way I wanted it to. 
Let's go like this. Go back to polygonal select. Try one more time around the horn here. And if this doesn't work, we're going to try something different. Because I don't have all night. Come on. All right, forget it. We'll come back to you. We have my old trusty tool for doing quick and dirty jobs. File open. Camp. Graphics. Open. Control I. If I remember correctly, then X. There. Let's get another eraser. Yeah, we want eraser, eraser. And we want to make it big. Oh, here we go. Brush with. Maybe I can find something to go over that. I've been at the computer all day long. Can you tell? <laughs> I'm a little tired. Tone that one down a little bit and take that out. Take that out. Don't take that out. All right. All right, that's good enough. Copy this and see if we can just paste it in. All right, copy. I'm not sure if that'll work. But we can try. But in the meantime, what we can do is go like this. Oh, yeah. Control I. And there. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Trying to remember it. crop. I need to crop it. Image, crop to selection. Might as well do them all. Just like riding a bike. I haven't used this program for a while because I'm forcing myself to use Photo P because I, I want to learn Photo P. The only way you can learn how to do something is to do it. <laughs> All right, this one's done. Let's 
Actually, let's just go like this. Mm, let's see, I think this is right. Nah, no, I can't do that. Gonna go like this, like this. Move. There we go. Rotate a little bit. There, perfect. All right, image, crop to selection, control, shift, X. Okay, next one. Make it even faster. I'm picking up speed. Now what we're gonna do is take all these and drop them right into the picture. You like the music? It's YouTube music. Now let's see if we can go like, we can pick the color. We'll go this color here. We'll get a brush, which is right there. Make it smaller. About 10. Just go like that. And granted, it's not perfect, but it'll do for a pinch. We don't have a whole lot of time here because it's past my bedtime already. And I have a timer on the program on this uh, actual video will be released tomorrow at eight something and I can't remember what it is but all right so we want to take that and just stretch it down or copy it copy paste and stretch maybe Twist a little bit. Move over a little bit. No, move it like that. Good enough. There we are. You almost can't even tell my fingers were there. That's what I say. Control Shift R. I think I did. Control Shift X. I mean, and what's this one? Oh yeah, I forgot about this guy. Let's go and Control Shift X. This program may not have folders, but it definitely is quick for what I need it to do a lot of times. Although I am getting quicker at PhotoP, I'll get there eventually. It's just a question of learning. I mean, I didn't learn this 
program overnight either. Every program has its little nuances. Let's see how much we can get out with this. There, that's good. That's too much. That's good. That's good. Good. Nope, not good. Undo that one. Too much. Well, time to get out the eraser again. And I have the have to do the deselection first, then the eraser. again I think that's good enough too. Although I should probably take these guys and let's go like this, copy from here. We're gonna raise out that tolerance level a little bit. Too much. some down here <sighs> all right let's try this again If we do it right there. Okay, that'll work. Good enough. I wonder if we can do this color too. Nah. Done. All right, so we go file, save as. Same as one. One. I'll save as two. I'll save as three. And file save as four. I don't even know how well this is going to turn out, but we'll, we'll find out. Ah, eyeballs stinging. Photo P, where are you? What happened to the. Oh, yeah, that's because I'm in this thing. Close that thing out. Okay. 
Now let's see about getting right here. There. Kindle, grinder, the 20 plus camping thing. Now let's go file, open in place. We're gonna go one. We're going to go to file open in place. Open in place. Two. I wonder if I can open and place two things at the same time. I haven't tried that ever. Although I'm not going to do it tonight. Maybe another time. And open in place. One more, one more. This one, oh yeah, I see here. If I put me there and I put it like this, and I bring it down below everything, we'll be all set. There, how's that? Whoa, too far. Okay. Okay, so that background that I put in there, which is the AI, where did I throw that? It's in here somewhere. It's in the intro week. So it's got to be over that and under that. Okay. And what number was that? I think that was number four. Oh, there's the camp order. Okay, right under it. Boom. And behind that, behind me, let's... We got this one, we'll move that kind of over there. Can we tilt it? Nope, that's not what I wanted. And then this one, can we free format, free form, let's see. Save, oh yeah, edit, free form, transform. Good, make it a little bigger. Hmm. Maybe, oh yeah. We can twist it a little bit more. Give it kind of a move it. Yes. Oh, done with that. Okay. Go over here. This one. We just want to move. Not there. There. I like that. Make it bigger. Free transform on that one too. Edit, free transform. Except let's hide that knob there camp all right what are we calling this again i think we calling it we're looking it up camp uh what's this thing we're gonna cancel whatever that is all right video details 20 plus camp things 20 plus oh 
How about 20 plus? Or camp things. Camp things. Yeah, camp things. That sounds good. Graphics. Back to this. What did I say? 20 camp things? I think I did. Let's go to video details. Yeah, camp things. Back to photo peeing. Green or yellow? How about green with a, what would go, green with a blue background? Something easy to read. All right, text. Let's go up here. Let's see, what's Titan 1? Oh yeah, I like that. Oh yeah, 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 that's not what I want. I want to go caps lock. Can't even think straight at the moment. All right. Don't like that color. I like this one though. whole thing free transform it oh yeah let's bring it down maybe it kind of tilt a little bit oh come on had it going for a second there oh I remember I gotta rasterize it to really mess with it but if I do that then I won't be able to select the text anymore so <laughs> it's one half of one six dozen of another all right let's see about tilting it a little bit though do that Normally, I'll do two different layers there just to get better control. Camp things, that's good. And then we duplicate the layer, control J. We go down to the lower layer, turn this layer off because I've had trouble with that doing this before. And we're still on selection. Here we go, select it all. Select this too. Oh, nope. I want to select the whole thing. Come on. Oh, you're not going to do... Uh, okay. Control Z. Back one more. All right. Put this one on. Move them until we get them right on top of each other again. Come back to this. Do one at a time then. Change that to black. Okay. We'll do this one. Change that to black. Okay. Now we go to the other layer, we bring it on top, and then we move things. I'm 
make the lower one a little bit bigger. Come down to here, free transform again. I think we have good enough. Camp things. I'm going to export this, call it a day. Thanks for joining me. Sorry I'm not high energy today because I'm just a little tired. Save as PSD. Yeah, we need to do that first. <laughs> We'll save it right over this one because this is the one that we started with. Yes, we want to replace it. If I just hit save, it would have done the same thing. Now we need to export it as a PNG. Last step. It's too big. So we go to 1280, which will automatically shift to 720 over there because now we bring it down also last check let's check to see how it looks small oh you can read that camp things all the way down to teeny tiny there you are another photo p photo uh, paint.net and artificial ai graphics program now i like i said i really am not to the point where i'm happy with this program here uh if i ever do get happy with it and i'm getting pictures out of it that <laughs> i think are what i want i will uh go and say this is a great program until then i wouldn't uh go buying it unless you're really anxious to spend some money it wasn't too expensive. I think I paid $35 for it. Thank you for watching. Love you all. Bye-bye. Save.